Thank you very much. Good. Well, good evening, everybody. And uh, Mr. President, thank you for that extremely kind introduction. And uh, to the Atlantic uh, Institute, thank you so much, uh, Fred Kempe, uh, Minister Vesterverle, Secretary Clinton, uh, distinguished guests. It's wonderful to, to take a moment here. I would like to uh, also recognize our French Chief of Defense, who is here tonight, uh, General Jean-Louis Georgelin, representing the return of France to the Alliance. Welcome home, sir. I am, indeed the word is correct, I am humbled to receive this award on behalf of the soldiers, the sailors, the airmen, the Marines, of all of the NATO nations who have served and have been a part of the process of the events we have talked about, which unfolded 20 years ago. On their shoulders rest the pillars of this transatlantic bridge, this alliance. This is their award. And I am proud to stand here tonight. I will quote a German statesman and general, Karl Schurz, who once remarked that if you truly want to be free, there is but one way, and it is to ensure the equal full measure of the liberty of your neighbors. And that, in a phrase, is the mission of the North Atlantic Alliance. For 60 years, through the long decades of the Cold War, your soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and civilians stood the watch. They manned the lines. They flew the patrols. They sailed the seas. And they made us free. They were part of the great events that unfolded in this city 20 years ago. Today, this is a celebration of all the elements of national will, of diplomacy, of development, of defense. Together, together, all of us worked to achieve the moment that we celebrate tonight. In those intervening years, this alliance has grown steadily. Today, we stand at 28 who stand together. As the President remarked in that wonderful introduction, your soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines today are in Afghanistan. They are in the Balkans. They are at sea in counter-piracy operations off the Horn of Africa. They are policing the skies on the borders of this alliance. They are part of the rock-hard guarantee of Article 5 that underpins this alliance that is the fundamental basis for this alliance. And I will say to you that as I came tonight, I called my good friend, my mentor, General Jim Jones. And I said, sir, what should I say tonight? And he said, tell them that NATO is the strongest alliance in the history of the world. That is my message for you tonight. This alliance is proud to have been part of the events that led to the fall of the wall. We talked earlier tonight in a wonderful intervention about President Havel's magic lantern. I would say to you that your military forces in this NATO alliance are part of that magic lantern. They shine a light for freedom. Thank you very much for this award. <laughs>